Hello my friends, welcome to Sanya's Fantasy Kitchen. Today I will have an unusual video. We're going to start with a little bit of everything in this video. First, we're going to make buttery bread. Then we're going to have the fried zucchini with the amazing sauce. At the end, surprise. So let's go. I have here four cups of flour. I had half, half. I have white and half whole wheat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. I'm not adding too much. You'll see why. And I have two cups of warmer milk here. We'll see how much we're going to need it at the end. Just pour a little bit in the middle. I have a teaspoon of sugar. And I have two and a half tablespoons of yeast. Mix it a little bit with that flour. And let it rest for at least a couple minutes. Okay. Our yeast already settled. You can see it. It's bubbling. Uh, here I have avocado oil that I'm going to just add a little bit. I'm not adding too much. And I have two eggs. I'm going to crack it open. Mix it a little bit and put together with the yeast. Mix it. And start adding the milk. Now you can mix it by hand. Okay, so we mix the bread. Let's see how soft that is. That's because of the milk. And we're going to put some avocado oil on the bottom of this. Pan and put a little bit on the top, just a little bit. Cover it for hour. While hour, though it's resting, we will go and start preparing our zucchini. Now we're gonna shred zucchinis. This is something very easy to make whenever you're in a hurry or kids are hungry, they cannot wait. Now 
and you can use as many zucchini you want. Basically, I'm just making the um, uh, sikap recipe that is going to be having right ingredients. So that way you can make it easier. And later on, you can add or deduct or whatever you want from that this recipe. It is very easy. So I shredded here zucchini and carrots. You see I put it in like this so we can have our liquid squeezed down below. But you can also use the cheesecloth and squeeze it, maybe even easier. Now to this, before we do that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. More or less, you're going to need some salt. I don't like it too salty because I'm going to be adding some vegetable dry spices too after we squeeze all these juices from. Okay, so we'll squeeze all the juices from zucchinis and carrots. Now we'll add some spices. We'll add one teaspoon of dry vegetable spices. Half a teaspoon black pepper, and half a teaspoon red paprika, and one teaspoon dry parsley. You can use the fresh parsley, obviously, there's no question about that. Here, I'm going to have a couple eggs. Add four eggs. I think that's going to be enough. Mix it a little bit. Break it down. And add the zucchinis. Mix it a little bit and start adding flour. I have two cups of flour here. We'll see how much we're going to need. You can just see it, how much. It's not supposed to be too runny and not supposed to be too hard. So we'll see. Usually I made this recipe not even thinking what, how much I need of something. Almost every recipe I made, I don't even think what I need. I just know. <laughs> A little bit more. I think that's one cup. See, it's like heavy fall. That's how you know it's ready. Like when you grab it, heavy fall. But that's like one cup. Okay, so now we're going to use oil right here and on a pan. You just need to um, 
a little bit more oil as usual, but not too much anyway. The reason I am using the avocado or grapeseed oil, maybe you notice that that's the only that oil that I use in my kitchen, in my cooking. The reason I started that uh, maybe a year ago, because I actually could not tolerate any more canola oil or vegetable oil. Vegetable oil here and there a little bit, but canola oil, my stomach would not agree. I mean, it was really, really bad for me. So I'm like, okay, let's start with different oil. I start exploring. I tried a lot of, even olive oil, I can use it, but not too much. So finally I bought avocado oil and I made my meal with avocado oil and actually did not have any reaction to it. My stomach was fine, I was fine. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's great. Then I bought grapeseed oil and grapeseed oil worked perfectly fine to me. So that's why I'm using it you don't have to, you can use any oil you prefer. I know these are more expensive, but you know, like I said, I just love it because uh, my stomach agrees with it. And uh, that's why I'm using it. So we're gonna wait for our oil to be hot. Okay, so use the scoop, big spoon. Dump it on the oil like a little pancakes. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. It depends how you like it. you can cover it until it's a golden brown underneath and then uh, turn the other side the same way. I want it to burn very easily and quickly. It takes a couple minutes on both sides. Okay, you see how it looks really nice golden brown that in taste it's amazing okay for my sauce here i have two cloves of garlic and a um, little bit parsley and I put soaking in uh, olive oil for, I had it for half an hour so the flavor can, you know, go together with the olive oil and the parsley and the garlic. It's like amazing flavor. And to that, I'm going to add sweet chili. You mix it. It's amazing flavor though, guys. I, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a while now for a lot of things. But you have to leave the garlic and parsley in that olive oil for at least half an hour. Sometimes I put it overnight and it's really, really good. Okay, you don't need to add salt or anything else. Okay, this is how it looks like. Still hot, guys. Put on a plate for me.
that and also it sauce goes great with the sour cream amazing isn't it so we're gonna try our zucchini are we yeah Mm. Wow. Oh my God, that sauce is amazing. Mm. Mm. You really don't need anything else. This is plenty. And now, it, for the end, I have something special. But before that, we still have to work on our bread. So let's do it. Okay, so our dough is risen. Look at that. Need a little bit of flour on the surface. There you go. Then you use your rolling pin. Roll it as thin you can, as much you can. It really doesn't matter, but the more you roll, the better it's gonna be. The thinner it is, it's gonna be better. They're saying to make this video, it's easy. No, it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes happiness. You know, some people do this because they have to. Some people do it because they love to. That's me. It makes me happy. Okay, now, I'm using the margarine. Why? I found that using a margarine in um, pastries or any breads or anything, it's actually more fluffier and more flavorful than just a simple butter. I tried between one or other, and I'm telling you, the margarine is much better. Just spread it over the top. I started making this bread probably, I want to say 30 years ago, like this, maybe even more. Uh, yeah, I'm very old. Uh, and I found it, a lot of people love it, a lot of people. Fold it, and then put it on the top again, fold it, and put it on the top. Fold it. Mm. 
Look at that. <laughs> My kids used to ask me, Mom, why don't you open your own restaurant? I'm like, okay, really? <laughs> I love cooking, though. But I just started, guys. So you will see a lot of things that I'm going to make that is going to be very, very complicated. But, you know, for me, cooking for years, it's so simple and easy. But hopefully you will enjoy it because I really, I'm cooking for my heart. And I'm cooking because it makes me happy. So we're going to leave this for a couple more minutes. Okay, a couple more minutes pass by. A little bit more flour on the surface. Press it against the dough. And again, flatten as much you can. And brush the margarine or butter, whatever you like. And leave it the rest for the next 15 minutes. Okay, so our dough rested. Sprinkle with the flour a little bit. The same process again. As much you can. Roll it out. This is the last step, and you already have your oven on 385 degrees. The only difference this time, you will not put margarine on the top. You will put something else. I have a sour cream with a parsley. Mix it here. Just pour over the, over the top of the, your dough. Spread it. Now you will roll your dough, your bread. Perfect, isn't it? Okay, so while we wait for oven to warm up, we're going to put some egg yolks with the milk on the top. And we bake it until it's golden brown. And uh, um, I will tell you exactly how long it takes. I don't usually pay attention, as I told you before, but I will make sure that I know how long it's been in the oven. So while we wait for our bread to be done, I'm making that surprise that I told you. 
I have here one cup of cornflakes that I'm going to roast. Make sure you don't brown like too much this corn flax. It has to be light, light brown. Easily can go bad, easily. Just that's why you have your temperature down. And um, rather take a little steps than repeat yourself. Okay, so our corn flax, it's cooled down a little bit. Gonna use the half of the corn, so we're gonna squeeze it. And pour over the corn flax. Now, I have here vanilla bent ice cream and key lime pie, which I really, really love. Roll it. And a key lime pie. Mmm, so good. And that orange juice gives a flavor too. Okay. Okay. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Yummy. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> My grandchildren enjoy this because it's like almost like a fried ice cream. That's how it tastes actually. Mmm. Mm. Crunchy. So soft inside. Wow. Believe me, it your kids gonna love you. Mm. Mm. So far we're done with all three of those, but we're gonna wait for bread to be done so you can see how it looks like. Okay, so our buttery bread is done. It's a little cool down, hopefully. A little bit still hot, but that's okay. I just want to show you how it looks like. There you go. That it's all flaky and you can see separating easily because of all that margarine in. At the end you have the sour cream and the parsley in between. Look at that. That is so beautiful.
And I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's an unusual video, you want to say. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe down below. And press that little bell for new video notifications. And it's been a pleasure being with you. Until the next time, from Sanya's Fantasy Kitchen, big kisses.